Well, we know nothing quite says uh, Toronto quite like a condom in a move to sure to raise civic pride. The city is showing its love with a special glove. Before we get into more trouble, though, we'll let Keely Rogers put the rubber to the road on this story, so to speak. Oh, the innuendos that come with this story. Yes, we are talking about condoms, but these rubbers are actually pretty special. They come ahead of world pride and bring city pride. Are you ready, ready Toronto? Toronto? It's been a slow reveal, a tease, if you will. <laughs> But our city's first official condom is ready to be unwrapped and rolled out. <laughs> Incredible. That's fantastic. Awesome. It's amazing. I want some. We're trying to, to catch people's attention, break the ice a little bit with a bit of humor, get people talking about, thinking about, and using more condoms. It's something that's been done before in New York and L.A., but this is Toronto's first time. And understandably, there's a bit of nervous laughter. So where are you visiting from? Nova Scotia. Would you take this home as a souvenir? What is it? It's a condom. Oh! <laughs> the condoms are a limited edition and feature some playful street names, but maybe, just maybe, there were some missed opportunities here. CN Tower has maybe a little bit of a sexual or phallic undertow. Um, I wouldn't call it undertow, and I'd call it it's overtow. <laughs> Phallic city references aside, the project does have a serious side and serves an important message. We certainly have a problem with sexually transmitted infections in the city. 15,000 new cases every year, more than 400 cases of HIV. We still see about 60 people die every year of AIDS in this city. So the serious side is that condoms can save lives. You can get your hands on one of these rubbers starting next week. They will be put in 300 locations across the city, like clubs, restaurants and hotels, ahead of World Pride. They cost just eight cents to make, which is just a penny more than the generic ones public health hands out every year. Would you use it though or keep it as a souvenir? Absolutely. You would use it. Only if you let me. <laughs> <laughs> would you feel patriotic to your city using these? Sure. Yes. I would I don't scream, oh not. Canada. <laughs> oh, oh <Toronto>. Canada. <laughs> and it may not just be world pride. Toronto Public Health is actually toying with the idea of creating a special condom for the Pan Am Games. At Church and Maitland, Keely Rogers, back to you, Roger.